against you at some point. And she gotta go against me at some point. Columbia versus St. Edwards. Columbia, China secured her third spot in the West. St. Edwards, they're playing for bragging rights. Let's see. Let's get into the matchup. Two of the league's top performing offenses in terms of overall pressure. A lot of potential for both teams here. Granted, only really playing for third place here if you're Columbia. But all that aside, Subi, one big difference. There's a lot of demos that come out of the St. Edward squad. And I think it might be a bloodbath on the pitch. They like to get aggressive. They like to create those small openings on the pitch. And if one thing holds true that we've seen time and time again when two powerhouses meet on the pitch, it always ends in a 1-0 in the, in the first game. They just play so hesitant, they want to play spread out, and both of these teams definitely respect their opponents. And if you're looking for someone to keep your eye on, over on that St. Edwards squad league leader in demos per game, Dino 3.42 with a completely open approach, oh. and he will capitalize off of his teammate turning someone into dust. Just a nice little carry across the entire pitch from Dino and just tucks it in. Cam unable to get there. Dino didn't even have to utilize that flip reset, but you called it out. That demo opened things up, and St. Edwards take the early lead. And maybe getting a second one off the kickoff. Indeed, it just slips right by the follow through from Columbia's kickoff and an early 2 0 deficit. And yeah, now, what you want there, if you're cryptic, you can't be that aggressive on the kickoff. Gotta make sure you don't let one squirt past you. It's exactly what happened. And just like that, you blink, and St. Edwards is up by two. And so, if you're Columbia here, uh, having to right the ship early, never fun. But. Only way to do it is get back on the horse. Granted, you got a long way to go. Four minutes is a lot of time. You're definitely going to get at least a couple of chances. So I think the important thing is you got to continue not to concede and you got to keep your eye out for that demo coming through on the back because you already know that's exactly what they're going to keep doing. It will build that pressure. And personally, I'd rather get those mistakes out of the way early. Mm. Just kind of shake that rust off and... and not give it to them late in the game. It, nothing worse than if you're in a game five overtime and that's when the mistake rears its ugly head. Get them out now, shake out the cobwebs, and it already looks like Columbia's playing much, much better as Excel gets a little shot on target. Great pre-jump there from Dino to put that into the corner, gets the second touch as well, and gets the clear. Let's see what he can do with a follow through, not much. He's looking to try and take off that challenge as Excel's completely open net, biffs it wide, fakes one, and Cam unable to put it on target either. Columbia leave one hanging, and unfortunately will not get back within one, but they're not quite done yet. Still trying to retain possession here in the orange half. Unfortunate situation, but a big save from Cryptic on the goal line as Cam holds on as well, but a double commit Gonna slow things down for Columbia here. Not gonna be able to break out of their own half. And St. Edwards already getting aggressive in the blue half, trying to keep the offense rolling. But again, you gotta rewind back to that missed opportunity from Excel. You gotta put those ones in, especially in moments like this. Yeah, there's not a ton on the line, but you are trying to secure that third place. Wellis chops it down into the box, and look, you already know he's going to go straight into the box after he goes for that corner boost. Unfortunately, well defended by Columbia. Everyone from St. Edward's just going to reset. Wellis wins one cleanly through the middle. Cryptic able to get in his way and prevent any further damage. Columbia just trying to open up a little bit of space to work with, and they'll play the 50 game and hope for the best. A little misplay from Cryptic there, and Drew gets the slightest touch to keep that ball away. Looked like a misplay there, and the mechanics weren't quite there as well. As here comes Dino. Is the double available? It is in on target, but again, Cryptic with another huge save. Gets a savior medal for his efforts. Love that respect from Cryptic on that shot. Now he's got another tough one to make. A beautiful trap up to the backboard. Unfortunately, didn't have the boost to follow through. Cam forced to go for the pre-flip clear, and Columbia being pressed hard at the moment. Rui with a few bumps. Unfortunately, Dino one step too far behind it, hard cut. And Columbia find a way out, but can they get into the back of the net? Cam trying to get physical off the backboard. All that does is slow Excels down, 
can rotate in freely as here comes Cam. Gets two to go, it looks like. Over two of them as well. That one's wide open, but oh. Dino with a huge save. And they're not done. Excelst into the middle. Drewy buys some time. Cam tries to cut rotation. Massive pinch. Excelst is trapped in the net. And Cryptic has to buy time there in the midfield. Unfortunately, not able to nail the flick. Excelst, now he has to hold the ball. Cam <laughs> started, gave everything a double look there, expecting to maybe get bumped and demoed, and that kind of killed the oh, opportunity bye -bye. for Columbia to hold the ball. Double demo, Drewy one on one, but everybody respawns in plenty of time. And all they need to do now is just play keep away. Keep that ball alive, go. but it's not gonna happen, and Excel's gonna get the one that they needed, and Columbia cut the lead in half and keep themselves in game one. Great push from Cam. Excellent comms as well from Columbia, understanding that, hey, the net's open, the comms come through, hey, that's gonna be on target, just make sure you get the demo. And excellent execution. Now it's all about that time management. How are you gonna utilize this last 20 seconds? That's a great way to do it. And another huge save from Dino, but Columbia College not done yet. Infield pass comes in, and here comes Cryptic, waiting, lurking. Screen. The fake comes Ooh. out, but Drewy holds on to the last second. Not out of the murky water just yet, as St. Edwards needs a clear, needs a stop. They just need to hold on, but now they need the ball to hit the ground, and it looks like it's gonna do exactly that, Ooh. and one for the road. Man, they tried so hard. They sent everything into that corner. They were making decent reads, but eventually, St. Edwards just knew that, look, that ball's going into the corner. It's only going to come out one way, and they just picked it off back the other way. One to three, St. Edwards come out on top, benefiting from the early 2-0 lead. Granted, could have been a totally different game. Easily could have been OT, but that missed open net earlier definitely haunts you now if you're Columbia. But it's a best of five. Long way to go yet. First one doesn't go your way. Granted, you brought it back had a decent amount of pressure. I think you kind of just have to, you know, wipe your hands of that one and move on to game two. I'm not sure you actually have to change anything too much if you're Columbia here. Uh, you know, for St. Edwards, they did ride that wave of momentum after the, the early 2-0 lead. But for Columbia, the one thing that I would like to see them change is you've got to get Cam involved offensively. You were talking at the start of this series how he's the number one shot taker in all of CRL. Yes. Two shots in this lobby, the lowest amount out of all six players here. He's got to just force himself, insert himself into that offense. Certainly going to look to do just that. St. Edwards, uh, honestly, I can see how they all end up with so many demos per game. They all average at least two per game. So crazy uh, aggressive play from St. Edwards. And I think a lot of that stems from how they like to rotate. They'll rotate back through the center of a play. They're not worried about maybe punching the ball back into their own half, potentially on a 50. They really do just always get in your face one way or the other. Very frustrating to play against that level of aggression. And the speeds behind it as well. So it's just every single ball that you're launching on target, someone's in the air, just like that dino already there and pumps his teammate into the ball. Actually worked out in his favor as St. Edward's gonna maintain possession here and force Columbia back on their heels. Nice touch from Cryptic considering how he had to rotate. Cam steals one, can he get this one on frame? Catches the flip towards the wall, needs a little help. Here's Excelston Wellis all over it. Great vision and not getting trapped looking at the ball and knowing where that shot was gonna come from. And the biggest thing Cam did there was get that boost in the corner to slow down St. Edwards, slow down Dino. More importantly, he's scrambling back on that goal line. Here comes Cryptic, and he was trying to pair up with Cam. Couldn't quite connect on that passing play. But already, Columbia doing a much, much better job, sorry, of keeping that offense alive and not just going for one shot, but following up as well. Ooh. I know just kind of chops one across the middle. Not sure if that's the touch. Oh, there you go. Going for Ooh. dish to excel. Stand so close to being an absolute ripper. Oh, man. He put some rain X on the headlights there. That one just skimmed <laughs> right off. A little too much grease as well as goes underneath and cryptic all alone on an island, but keeps it away from Dino and keeps it away from St. Edwards. And back and forth we go. These teams oh, just vying for opportunities as Drewy puts it into the corner. 
Cam stole the corner boost, so an opportunity, a lot of chances here for Columbia to really get the press going. You see Cam rotating through the box, trying to see if he can find some demos, and Cryptic just trying to hold the ball and look for an opening. Dino just trying to get that ball out, gets a demo, gets the boost steal, forces Excels to go up. Excels does get the much needed bump on Dwellis there, but here comes Cryptic. Not sure what he was trying to do there. Maybe a little musty. The mechanic's not quite with him on that play as Dino just leaves that one up for Drewy. And Columbia's got to be careful. They can't push forward too much because this is a team that can punish them. As we saw when in the waning moments of game number one, when the clock hit zero, they can strike from their own half. Awkward ball. Excels comes up empty. Cam leaves it knowing Cryptic's the only player there. Dino chops one down for Drewy. That's a great trap. He's able to at least gain possession for a few seconds and prevent a potentially dangerous counterattack from Columbia. And St. Edwards poking and prodding at the midfield defense. There's one demo. Wellis misses the redirect and Cam equal to the adjustment. Yeah, that's just an awkward ball if you're Cam. Great presence of mind to stay grounded on that play. It's so easy to fall for that fake and that ball just floats right over your head as Man, Columbia College trying to go for whatever they can, whatever passing plays are available, but you called it out, Achieves. Dino is just there, just He's trying just to there. cause problems. Just stopping that good counterattack touch to get things started and we'll break one up again. Drewy's just parked up in the box, forcing defenders to move around him. This a uh, soft 50. Drewy making sure to get outside the line of the play will slow the wow. transition. And there they go again, just right through the middle of the play. No fear. It is just insta challenge from St. Edwards. That's what makes him just so good. You just can never get any free space. And <laughs> when you do, they know that you're not going to do anything with it. Like that play with Cam behind the ball. But here comes Wellis. He's got a little bit of space, can't quite find the upper 90. As we near 60 seconds to go here, still all knotted <laughs> up at zeros, but 1v1. What's he oh. gonna do? He's gonna put it right by him. Look at Drewy call Cam's bluff here. He's like, oh, you're gonna bring it down to the ground. Uh-huh, uh-huh, thanks for the ball, bozo. Up top left, nice try, Excels. <laughs> Puts him in the circus on that play. And St. Edwards, just too much to handle. And so far, Columbia College threw out almost two games, held to only one goal. One of the most dominant teams we've seen in the Western Conference over the last few years. And typically, we know them for their offensive firepower. And held actually even quieter than they were in game one. They had the shot lead in game one. Not so. Here in the second one and a potential advantage finder. There goes Drewy, get out of the way. Here's number two, St. Edwards, extend the lead. They just uncork the offense and it just overflows. Drewy credited with the goal on that one, but he takes the defender out of the play and allows Wellis to just walk that ball into the back of the net. Time to sound the sirens if you are on Columbia College. Real some type of adjustment needing to be found. The, the funny thing is, I am not quite sure what I would do against this. It's because it's not as simple as don't get hit. You can see the, the timing of St. Edwards is actually the biggest problem to handle. The demos come at the right time in the play. It's not like they're just going for them and uh, pulling themselves out of position. They're positioned incredibly well and that's making it very difficult for Columbia to find any type of space to operate around that it's it's almost uh, unconventional play that we're seeing from St. Edwards we've seen aggressive teams we've seen demo heavy teams before but the way that they're cutting out that midfield, especially on their rotations out of the zone, where uh -huh. usually Columbia is so used to, oh, okay, we can dribble this out, or we can air dribble out, or we can create a passing play. Regardless of who's rotating out for St. Edwards, it's almost like they had a talk and said, okay, just try and put a body on the ball. Just disrupt the play in any way, shape, or form. And that's what's le leading to their success. And I agree, Chiefs. Like, how do you... What do you combat do? that? You, you've got to try and get them out of position, but 
they're out of position by themselves. So what are you going to do to capitalize on it? And and that's that's the the million dollar question. Also, the most frustrating part of it is it's not every single time because you remember that play where where Drew is just parked in the midfield and lets Cam bring him the ball. Cam starts that type of air dribble because they've kind of been under that type of pressure through the box all throughout the game. They've been conditioned to say, look, if the ball comes to me in the box, I got to get up. I got to dodge these demos. I got to get some type of air dribble to break out of my own half or at least bring possession to my team. And then when that happens and no one's actually trying to bump you, then you find yourself in the spot where Drew is just parked in midfield saying, yeah, bring me the ball. And so it's not like it's a 100% of the time we're going to try and ram our cars just straight through the middle of your defense. It's just so well mixed. It is. <laughs> that, that's the second layer of the issue to get through. You know, it, it's, oh my gosh, oh, he Ooh. just misses. That would have been such a clean redirect. But because of their aggression and because of the bumps and the, the challenges, it's almost like they, they create this, this oh, big miss on the back end oh, and a whoa. huge miss, but somehow oh, Columbia College still alive and we remain all knotted up. Time Holy to miss all the open nets and Wellis will rotate back through the middle of the play. Excel's chance to put one down and he's chosen how it's done through traffic. Columbia in front. <laughs> Not going to make the same mistake twice as Excel saw his spot and hits it perfectly. Tucks it under the crossbar. Not scared of those phantom rotations from St. Edwards on that play as all three players were tied up in the net and Columbia College tried to go for a little fake kickoff there. Yeah, what's, what's the answer? How do you, whoa, okay, I got a little worried. But what's the answer? How do you beat it? The answer is uh, you get lucky and they don't score. <laughs> and then you win on the counterattack. <laughs> oh, yeah, just uh, just have your lucky rabbit foot in your pocket yeah, while you're playing. Wait, That's a, the, wait for your opponent to mess up. Definitely a winning strat. <laughs> But no, yeah, that, uh, that's kind of what I was talking about, Achieves, with their rotations of, and you said it perfectly, where you don't know what they're doing, and it creates that that phantom challenge of, oh, they're going. Wait a minute, no, they're not. And it makes you second-guess yourself, and it's it, really fun watching. It really ties down the third player. Even Cam, he has to adjust around Dino falling into the box here. Like, look at him as he tries to rotate into the net. He's thinking, yeah, I could go get that, but Dino's boosting. He's <laughs> preventing him from going up and getting that ball. Oh. It's such great understanding of where the line to the play is. And St. Edwards just has it on lock. I mean, Dino just created an umbrella over the net right there to where Cam couldn't do anything. Such great presence of mind. And Dino, I mean, just watching his growth over the years has been incredible. But the biggest thing that has improved is obviously his game sense and recognizing where he needs to be, what he needs to do, and how he can position himself to disrupt his opponents, even if he doesn't have the ball. Those rotations right through the middle. Drewy just oh, see you later. pressure right for the bump. Wellis aiming bottom left. Cryptic able to adjust. Great defensive stop to be quite honest. And there you go. You see, he saw his teammate get demoed behind him. He knew he was coming for him next. Immediately popped it into an air dribble. And it's such a quick and easy thing for St. Edwards to challenge. Drewy really trying to force the issue here. We'll take a big bite out of Cryptic. Oh. Excelst will get some payback. And now an awkward situation here on defense for Columbia. Huge defensive demo from Excelst to slow down St. Edwards. Just felt like a matter of time before the goal came. They were able to just completely nullify the offense as Excels. It's a nifty little touch on the ball there as Cryptic comes in to keep this offense alive. And again, all knotted up. Outside of the, the weird play of the first 30 seconds of game one, these teams have been so close, so dead even. And then it just seems like wham, bam, one of these teams is just going to break through. <laughs> Whoa, they actually hit that. Cam didn't commit and go for the bump. They, I think they wanted the, the ultimate Kamehameha midair pinch. That would have been awesome. But 90 seconds excels. Kind of a tester, maybe a little bit greedy, to be honest. 
it feels like that situation where the spacing isn't quite right. You're not sure how you want to approach, so you think, eh, let's just hit one as hard as I can. Maybe it goes in top right or something. Cryptic misses that, and I know puts it down. <laughs> Drewy trying to either turn that into a pass or a shot. Either one would have been quite pretty. As Cam again just forced to go up because of the challenges that are coming out, just constantly changing things up. You never see the same hand twice. Ooh, nice fake from Wellis gets Dino the ball back, but unfortunately kind of gives it up immediately. Wellis delaying touch plus demo. Drewy just clearing the space, looking to see if maybe they can get some boost steals and capitalize positionally, sure and they enough. will do just that! Wellis takes the corn boost, forces the defender out of the net, and will convert. Oh, doing everything as Dino puts the pass on the money, and Wellis with the little over-the-shoulder dish into the net. The team plays on full display for St. Edwards. And they are just toying with Columbia at this point. 35 seconds to go here in game number three. Match point. Backs are against the wall for Columbia. They need a goal, and they need it now. Yeah, I definitely want to see this uh, St. Edwards team come playoffs. What does it look like on the second go around for a lot of teams? And potentially, what does it look like against the Eastern Conference? But before we get to that point, 15 seconds for Columbia. Can they find an answer here? They've got Great touch. Plenty of space, but that's kind of what St. Edwards wants to do is the pass was there, but the patience was even more <laughs> present for St. Edwards. And it was just, a, a, honestly, a series of mind games where St. Edwards dominated. Do you see Dino just absolutely close that down at the end? Just, just ran it down at the one person who could go and touch the ball. And Columbia, honestly, really did not play a bad series. But oh my goodness, that St. Edwards team, that is scary. I, <laughs> I would not want to play against that on the reg. That is for sure. No, a phenomenal they're, show. They're, they're fast. They're mechanical. They have game sense. They know how to change things up. And they, most importantly, they, they've got the trust in one another yeah. to where they know, okay, hey, you're going for that demo. You're going to get it or you're going to at least make contact. It's just such a fun team to watch. Fun is the right way to put it. And Columbia gave it their best effort, but not often you get to see one of the league leaders in shots per game held pretty much quiet. For the uh, entire duration. 100% quiet, my friend. He had zero goals. Excels was the only one on that team to score a goal. He had one in game one, one in game three, and then a big goose egg in game two. It's just not like the typical Columbia College that we're used to seeing. And it was so fun to kind of watch this one play out. I didn't expect it to turn out this way. Yeah, really well played from St. Edwards. Very well deserving of near the top of the standings as of course uh, Boise State camped out there at the top but what a show from St. Edwards well deserved win Columbia gonna look to rally heading in as they close out their season but coming up next Ball State sitting at six and seven seeing what they can do as the playoff race comes to its conclusion Rochester trying to play spoiler stick with us you're watching CRL